All right, good morning. This is Pure Line Break, a.k.a. Coach Big Pete. Make sure you follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Deep Dish Football Live is tonight, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. on the Deep Dish Football Facebook page. I'll be going more into this game. This is the Deep Dish Football Playoff Game of the Week. As Lake Zurich takes on Andrew High School in Tinley Park, it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited to go. Uh, first time ever watching, uh, actually, no, I watched both schools. First time ever at Tinley Park, though. Um, it's going to be a good game class, 7A round one game for 2019. All right, so let's get started with Lake Zurich first. Um, and first, uh, with Lake Zurich, new coach Ron Plants, I know him from the, his coaching days as the head coach of Elmhurst College, hell of a coach, by the way, um, got hired on. Again, I said in my video, my previous video in August, I said I'd, it was going to take a little bit of time for the kids to get acclimated to coach plants and you can sort of see it in the game film and the start of the schedule but every game every game they got better and better and better and uh the big game was they lost to friend the first game they lost to maris and then their last loss was to warren township which overall is a much uh, i don't think anyone questions a better high school better program right now um and better team, but Lake Zurich steadily build up quickly. Um, and again, Coach Plants, I think the hire was a wonderful hire by Lake Zurich High School. I think it was one of the best hires uh, in the state. Um, he's going to get this team ready. Um, and it might not be this year, but next year, keep an eye out for Lake Zurich. I'm telling you that right now, it's a good hire. Uh, I thought it was one of the best ideas ever uh, from that Lake Zurich staff. Now, the big wins for them. Definitely to me, Libertyville, Libertyville, and Lake Forest. Those were the two big wins. Those were the two big wins, uh, definitely for uh, for Lake Zurich football. Now we go into the team. And I talk about the team. Brian Sanborn. What more can you say? The kid's a stud. Big Ten type of linebacker. Jack Moses. Uh, he's just committed to Northwestern. A complete athlete. One of the best athletes in the state of Illinois. Justin Quast, uh, linebacker, another linebacker, keep an eye out for Hunter Wellsling. He just committed. I forgot. I think it was. I think it was Northwestern, if I'm not mistaken. Um, James Pickett, underrated wide receiver. I'm telling you right now, this kid's underrated. Keep an eye out for James Pickett. Athletic, great frame too. Jack Dwyer, younger, junior, definitely kid to keep an eye out for. Don Vellante, uh, wide receiver uh, for Lake Zurich, another interesting pl player to keep an eye out for as well um spencer bacon now here's the thing about spencer bacon i'm going to say this right now he actually is one of the more underrated players in the state of illinois especially lyman but he's one of the more underrated players on the lake Zurich team the kid the kid is a hell of a player he's been a player for the past two years for lake Zurich. definitely could keep an eye out for spencer bacon is a name that you must keep an eye out for no doubt about that um, let me go down and see if there's any more players I'm forgetting. Josh Polyard is another offensive lineman that I forgot to talk about. He He's huge. Definitely a big and tall frame kid. Centered to low gravity. Definitely a big time player to keep an eye out for for Lake Zurich. Josh Pollard is another name to keep an eye out for as uh, as well. So, But Lake Zurich overall, good season. Was it, was it uh, a season of expectations of high expectations not really but they proved people they proved some people wrong um i'm very impressed with their ability to build up that team after a week after a week um and lake circus they they're just a strong team they're just overall a strong team with a group of talented players as well now we get into andrew football let's start with andrew football as usual um we talk first let's talk first about the schedule because the schedule um they had some great games I'm not gonna lie, they had some great games. Um, I think the, I think when you look at it, they had a tough loss against Homer Flossmore, um, and the loss to um, the toughest loss to me was Lockport High School. Uh, they should have won that game, um, but Lockport they came in, they came ready to play. Andrew football didn't. Um, for me personally, the biggest wins for them are Lincoln Way West. And the, 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 the Lincoln Way West and Bradley Bourbon. I think the Lincoln Way West one was a huge win for them uh, in that conference. Uh, but 
The the big win for me, me uh, is Bolingbrook. Bolingbrook was the huge win last second, uh, last last in overtime. Um, big play made by their defensive back to get the ball away out of uh, the hands of the uh, Bolingbrook wide receiver. But big game, big win, overtime. You talk about a motivator, a program builder, um, a season builder. They're riding high right now. Andrew High School, Andrew Football is riding high right now. Do not sleep on these Thunderbolts, um, especially in the playoffs. If, am I, am I going to be surprised if they're – Managed to put one to one to two wins together. No, I won't be surprised. Not one bit. Um, for the team, John Bickles, their big dog athlete, he does it all. Rocco uh, Anantun, he's got over I forgot I forgot the rushing, but he's I think it's over a foul. He's got over a thousand rushing yards. He's a huge playmaker. Joe Dehan, safety, the kid's a beast. Uh, there should be more talk about Joe Dehan. He is a he's division one talented type of player too. Trevor Griffin, another interesting player as well. Um, I'm forgetting there's a they got a sophomore. They have a sophomore who's just unbelievable too. I'm trying to find him. Eh. Uh, when <laughs> Fitzgerald is another guy, Ryan Fitzgerald, linebacker and fullback, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they also have Winstoffer. Oh, let me see if I get down. Winstoffer at guard, big man, 6'3", 240, Division One talented type of player. Donnie Grave, the desk, the kid's name, who made the big play uh, last uh, last week against Bolingbrook. Uh, very impressive. He's a senior, 5'8", defensive back, but he managed to wrestle that play. He did not give up, and that's, that's the attitude that that team needs to do is win. And Andrew's another team. Andrew and Lake Zurich are both teams that literally, okay, you know what? Screw it. We don't care how high seeded you are. We're going to win. These two teams, whoever's going to come out of this this game and get the W, um, they could put easily string along two or three wins and get a couple few upsets. These are two of the most dangerous teams in 7A right now. Very dangerous. And Lake Zurich, unbelievable. Jack Moses. I have fled a guy, um, and he's got a solid group of wide receivers. What more can you say? And that running tech of Andrew, no one wants to deal with that. And an underrated passing attack, a passing attack by the Andrew too, um, as well as Noah. Con uh, I think it's Noah, Noah O'Connor, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably wrong, but Noah O'Connor is their quarterback. Just checking, make sure if I didn't get it wrong, the name wrong with my notes. But overall. I probably got the name wrong with the quarterback. Uh, I do apologize. But overall, good game. Um, I'll go more into it uh, my in the Deep Dish Football Live, and I'll go more into it at the end for final thoughts of the game for Deep Dish Football Game of the Week between Lake Zurich and Andrew High School. And again, if you like my work, feel free to leave a tip via PayPal. Follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and have a lovely day.